Somewhere in the bowels of the city that never sleeps. Kevin McCullough, radio host with Salem Media. Is a man also not sleeping. Syndicated radio talk show host Kevin McCullough. And that guy would like a word with you. Many of you know him from his looks for Damas. Of course that Kevin show is going to be great. The only thing that could be greater, of course, would be that Donald show. But we don't have that, so we have that Kevin show. Featuring the music of Dick Tunney and the Dream in Color Orchestra. And tonight, she's out to protect your kids to keep them from becoming stolen youth, Carol Markowitz. He catches people tripping in Times Square, Justin Awad. And no murders in the building tonight, Selena Gomez on the Spotlight Stage. And now, from Times Square, where Mayor Adams admitted no end in sight for his late night boogie, here's that Kevin! Well, that, that might in fact actually be true. Um, although I think what Mayor Adams was saying there was no end in sight to was the solution for the migrants coming to New York. But it's very true. Um, I had the mayor on my show just a couple of weeks ago, and all he could talk about was the nightlife of New York. So we know we know he likes to boogie. Uh, we we know he, he likes to get down. Um, but there are some other things going on, and they're and they're big, they're huge, they're important, and that's why we've got to talk about them. Welcome to the weekend, Kevin McCullough. Glad to have you with us. It is uh, very exciting. Uh, we've got a huge show for you. Let me just give you a preview. Uh, Carol Markowitz is going to be back with us tonight. She hasn't been with us since the night that she and Bethany Mandel came on to together talk to talk about their new book, Stolen Youth. But there's a brand new study that was completed this last week that is now out that if the statistics in it are true, they are devastating, shocking, and you need to stick around, particularly if you're a parent. You're going to care about this in a very significant way. So that's uh, that's that's one thing. Then a little bit later on, you know, when we go tripping in Times Square, we love to go tripping in Times Square. The tripping in Times Square guy, his name is Justin Awad. I've been trying to get him on the show forever. He's he finally agreed in his very busy uh, state of things. He's finally agreed to come on tonight. And uh, I want to ask him all about um, the lessons he's learning from these uh, folks that he's having conversations with in Times Square. Seems to me to be um, a very interesting use of his time. But has he has he learned anything in the process of all that? We'll get into that. Then tonight on the on the New Music Spotlight stage, friends, you may think of her as an actress. In fact, most people do, because a lot of the new generation doesn't know that she was a music star long before she was an actress. Selena Gomez, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, her new single, Single Soon, uh, in hour one, a little bit later on, she'll return to the spotlight stage with an encore of some delight. We'll let her pick, uh, but that uh, that coming up tonight as well. So we've got we've got a lot to get to. I'm hoping that you'll stick around uh, for a for a very very fun show. Oh, an assignment desk weekend tonight. Forget about it. Forget about it. The stories I say this all the time. They write themselves. The ludicrousness within uh, what is going on in the world today. It just it it writes itself. So that's top of the next hour. All right, I, I want to get into something related to what they said in the transition there about uh, the mayor getting his boogie on at night. Um, it is not normally the practice of politicians. And I just as someone who's watched it for a long time and kind of knows a thing or two, uh, it is not the normal mode of politicians to admit that they don't have a solution to a problem. But this week, Eric Adams came out and said, the migrant crisis is worse than I ever believed, uh, and I don't see an end in sight for this. I don't see a solution for this. I can't think of anything. Now, to his credit, he's asked for help from the governor and the state senate and the state house and uh, his own prosecutor in Manhattan. He's asked for help everywhere he can turn, but none of these people are willing to assist him. Now, he's getting upset with um, Governor Greg Abbott down in Texas. And so is the president. The president's getting really hacked off with Governor Abbott. And if you're watching in Texas tonight or, or listening, 
And by the way, uh, hello to Panama City, Florida. We are so excited to be on News Talk 101. Uh, the the News Talk legendary morning guy there and the great lineup. And we're just privileged to be part of that station now. Thank you, Panama City. Thank you, uh, the whole shore of uh, South Florida there or the southern shore of Florida. It's the Panhandle area, but it's as far south as it goes where they are. Uh, anyway, glad to be with them tonight. Okay, so the, the president said this week to Governor Abbott of Texas, if you don't stop sending buses, and you can kind of hear crazy Uncle Joe, like, say, like get off my lawn, pointing his craggy finger at somebody. If you don't stop sending those buses, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to start a new policy. We're going we're gonna to force migrants to stay in Texas. And Governor Abbott said, huh, okay. Do what you want. Uh, we've already done this in court. We, you'll lose again. See you there. You just, you know, hat tip, see you off to court. There he goes. Now, the president is getting pressure from Adams, from California, from other uh, sanctuary cities, Washington, D.C. He's getting pressure from these places because they have too many migrants to deal with. And the problem with that is that if they didn't have a policy on the record as saying we're going to welcome every migrant that walks through our door, then they wouldn't be in trouble. But because that's what they campaigned on, because that's what they've promised they would do, now they're now they're made to look like hypocrites because they're either making their base mad, which wants all migrants to come in and be given amnesty and citizenship and start voting right away. Or the other side that will use it against them and say, no, you broke your promise. You you, you didn't do what you said you would do, et cetera. They're, they're in a no-win situation. So that's why Mayor Adams is like, I don't see a solution. President Biden, you got to do something about it. And they're also trying to do this. They're also trying to say that Texas is a bad place because it's sending migrants to them. Now, let's go back to the genesis of how this all started. We didn't have these massive influx of migrants uh, three years ago because the border was closed, the border wall was being built, and the policy on allowing migrants into the U.S. was humane and legal. It is no longer humane and it is not legal, what they, are, what they have been doing for the last three years. So now the challenge is this. How do you deal with all of these people that keep coming? Well, Texas has a law that says it's not going to be a sanctuary for people that come illegally. If it's up to Texas, they're going to turn everyone back to Mexico because they're going to say, unless you have your papers, unless you've gone through the process, you're not allowed to come in. We're not going to have you come in because you didn't go through the, the, the process. Now, I can hear some of the People on the left right now, just <laughs> heads exploding. How dare they? How dare they? But Greg Abbott says, well, okay, so there's people in other parts of the country that disagree with us. How about if we just send them, the migrants? California is a sanctuary state. They made the whole state a sanctuary. New York City, sanctuary city. Proud of it. Loud. Going to say it out loud. Washington, D.C., same thing. We're going to take migrants no matter who. They, okay, fine, Governor Abbott says. We'll send you as many, as, many, um, <laughs> as many migrants as you can handle and more because we don't have the policy. Now, friends, if you live in New York City or Washington, D.C. or the state of California tonight and you're frustrated about this, you know what you need to do? You need to write new laws, elect different people, and have different policies. You ninnies keep putting the same people in charge and then they do this stuff and now your cities are overflowing. Now your streets are crowded. Now you have higher crime rates. Now you have problems near local public schools. Stop electing the morons. Start putting people in office that actually listen to you and write laws that respect you. Until then, get used to having shipments coming your way because it's not their laws, it's your laws that allow it. Kevin McCullough coming right back. A huge show straight ahead. Don't turn that dial. Hi, I'm Senator Joe Biden from Delaware, and I'm here with President Harris to tell what? you. What? Joe, do I look like a cackling hyena? Let's start over. 
Hi, I'm 45, and soon to be 47, too. <laughs> Your favorite president. And we're here to congratulate, uh, wait, who, who are we congratulating? Joe, we've been over this. We're here to congratulate a great radio station on picking up that Kevin show Saturday nights but at 9 o'clock. I'd rather fall off my bike at Brandon Falls than tell people about that Kevin show. You know that's not a real place, right? They named it after you because you felt... No, never mind. Wait, what? Anyway, congrats to News Talk 101 FM in Panama City, Florida. That's W-Y-O-O-F-M. Wait, Florida, but you beat me in Like Florida. a drum, baby. <laughs> like a drum. Well, that's not very nice. Mm -hmm.